Good morning, everybody. So here is what has been going on for the last uh, little bit. Um, in my video, I just or I'm about to post. Uh, we are this side was sagging. So I've had Kearney's here to check this planter out. We assumed it was the Rams. Uh, this ram actually had a bad seal in it. We assume that was the problem. That was not the problem. It was actually this uh, Solenoid right here. So change that this planter stays perfectly level when he was here uh, We got looking at The pads right there Which are these pads uh, and they are getting worn out. So a couple of them um, Of course that one looks good But yeah, again the ones that are wore out they're wore out when you're doing them You might as well do them all not one because they need to be the exact same size to keep your measurement, keep the planter square. I have known that for a little bit. Um, I was hoping just to get the season out of the pads, but uh, since um, I'm in the position I'm in now where they were here, we just end up doing it. Uh, not only that, I only have 120 acres left. Uh, 89 of that or 90 acres of that is getting tiled. Hopefully they're gonna be here this week to do the tiling. Um, so I just got to wait uh, It's hard not to plant it because this is one of the years where it's perfectly fit um, But I got to be patient because most years it's you know, if you get a little bit of rain on that farm, it doesn't drain It's hard to get on before June. So we're still early. Uh, we are Monday. What are we? May 10th So we're in good shape. So uh, he's on his way uh, We are going to finish adjusting the pads and then I am going to plant uh, my uncle Ross, he's got an experiment he wants to do. It's pasture ground. He wants to no-till into it. Um, so I got to suck all the seed out of the boxes. And actually, I am going to touch my trash whippers. Um, I have planted in some small grass patches. And to do that, they need to be lower to get that sod out of the ground. So I got to go and mark exactly where I got the positions of the pins because I want to put them back to that after because I really like that position, but I know for this uh, particular application, I'm gonna have to drop it maybe two holes. We'll see. So uh, my brother's out spraying. Um, I'm gonna show you some clips of last week of me spraying, then my brother's spraying, then we're right now. Uh, enjoy those clips. spray and this is technically a burn down even though I'm doing it I should have done it before we planted but I didn't so here we are uh, yeah so we're gonna come through one more time around the three to five leaf stage I do one more 
spray and that should do for the whole season. Uh, that should take care of all kinds of weeds and normally I try not to just, like right now I'm using glyphosate, but I try not to use that as a full on practice. It's, it's more of a savior. Uh, I like to uh, mix my spray program up all the time so we don't get resistant weeds. That's the plan and that's the theory that it, you know most farmers are doing uh, in today's world. Uh, this this dirt here, it's uh, high in fertility. That's why there is so many weeds. Uh, it's not it's not a bad problem to have high fertility. It's just something I'm dealing with right now because of the warm weather we've had so far. Normally, when I plant, and you see me plant, my fields aren't you know this weedy, this green. This is obviously uh, extremely bad. But like I said before, this is the cards I've been dealt, and this is what I'm dealing with. So here we go. Okay, so we're here at my uncle's farm. Uh, I have fertilizer in, I have the seed in, and when we get out, uh, this seed looks completely different to what uh, I plant. Um, there's no coating on it. This this is old genetics. Uh, there are no GMO. Um, we had to, they want us to plant it at 26,000 population, which is a lot less than I plant. I plant about 33,000, roughly, a little bit more than that for population, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is what I'm planting into. This is actually cow pasture. I mean, you can still see the cow patties fresh. They just moved it off. We're no tilling into it. Uh, I reset my trash whippers back to my old faithful setting and it seems to be doing a better job. So what was going on is I was getting too deep and the, tr the trash whippers were actually holding my unit up, trying to get the sod out of the way. But I'm walking, I don't see any corn on the ground. You can hardly tell I've been here. So we're just gonna do keep walking and making sure before we plant the rest of it. So this is the corn seed we're planting. It looks just like corn. No protection, so we'll see what happens. Planting into this fun stuff, I'm only doing four mile an hour to make sure that my boxes can, you know, have all the weight down, make sure my depth is staying the same. I have done a bunch of digging. It all looks relatively decent. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what his plan is. I don't know if we're going to be spraying this, if he's just going to leave it. Um, I guess I'll kind of keep you updated as time goes on. Um, but I'm surprised it is going in this nice. This is a new experience for me. I mean, like when I talk, I planted in some grass before I meant like, you know, a little corner, uh, maybe a 20 foot strip, not a bunch of acres. So anyways, we'll get this done and then we'll carry on with the rest of the day. Um, I am not going to get different shots of the planter. I mean, there's just a bunch of screwing around. Uh, you can see I got a, we'll get a little closer to them. I got the peanut gallery over here. All the cows, they're curious. They like to, like to watch. Can you see it me? Come on, we're going for a ride. And I see. Finished planting until we get that field tile. We're gonna go get set up for Owen. Uh, he finished spraying. It's just 1:30 right now, so we're gonna get uh, the air seeder down to the farm and uh, see what plant and soys.
days off. So we are no-tilling this field as we uh, mainly do with our soybeans. We might work, I think, 10 acres of our soybean ground this year just because uh, we ripped it. But it's going in pretty nice. Um, trash isn't too bad right here. Like, that's not bad at all. Like It's not covered. You can see dirt. It's got trash. It's cutting through. I've said this in other videos, but we use the Comber snap rolls uh, and they do this job. Um, if you're going to no-till, I think it is so important to use those. They, like I said, they do an awesome job. We're happy with them. This is our, oh, oh, it's sideways. Sorry, everybody. There we go. So, yeah, it, since we've been, like, we've been no-tilling for a long time and residue management was such a huge part um, as we've been going through this and that particular product the comber snap rolls or bt choppers those work fantastic like anyways here we go we'll go back down to it. you can see the residue is pretty well i like guess a little bit thicker right in this area but for the majority uh it looks like this area right here and so it's not bothering anything at all um i actually just dropped my corn planter into an area of corn stalks last year just to clean that cow manure off and actually, surprisingly, I'm pretty confident I can no-till corn into corn stalks if I want to. But uh, we do a pretty strict rotation, so I'm not going to. Anyways, let's get back to the farm. I got to wash that uh, planter off, try to get the cow manure off certain areas. And then I might go work that 10 acres I was talking about. We'll see. Okay, for the guys who have cows, wow, that was an experience to uh, wash. That stuff is sticky. It is way different than chicken manure. Anyways, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to oil some of these discs, especially my uh, shark teeth. What goes on here is the liquid fertilizer comes here and sometimes it gets sprayed and that's why those start rusting. Um, since I'm not gonna be using this for a couple weeks, I don't really want those to rust. Um, it's a little extra work that I gotta do now, but it'll save the time. <sighs> Wardrobe change. I cannot be in a confined area smelling like cattle poo. <laughs> All right, let's go pick up the elevator. Okay, that's a day. I'm gonna fold this planter up. I'm gonna get it away. I'm gonna put the 8260 away. I gotta move that sprayer around so I won't get in. Uh, they're actually talking rain again in an hour or so. Whether they're right or wrong, I wanna be ready. So get everything inside. I gotta go pick up C2 from Owen. So have a good one. Like, subscribe. Peace.